This field that you see here may be suspiciously quiet right now, but in a few minutes, it'll be packed with herds of screaming children, all looking for chocolate. I'm here with TV Kojiko at the 38th annual Niagara-on-the-Lake Easter Egg Hunt. school has been in operation for over 42 years within Niagara on the Lake. Um, we're in our fourth location now. Uh, we've been in the community center for the last three years and we operate uh, as a non-profit cooperative nursery school so we have parents who run the board and parents who also vote for any changes and we uh, service children within the area of ages 27 months to 12 years of age. So we currently have uh, 56 children within our program so it's, it's quite a busy program. You happen to be back this year organizing it again. What's going down this year? Uh, we have lots of activities for all the children. We have bouncy castles, hops of course. Uh, we have flower planting, barbecue, silent auction, raffle. We have lots of bunnies in the classroom this year. We have reptiles and games for the children. So lots happening for everybody. And I know that this event is a fundraiser for the nursery school, but I know that the kinsmen are also involved. So how did this partnership come about? We actually used to rent space from the Kinsmen in the Kinsmen Scout Hall and many years ago uh, they moved their egg hunt over to coordinate with our event and ever since then we've just done the event together. Okay, the uh, Kinsmen Club of Canada is an all-Canadian service club and uh, we uh, give to the community's uh, greatest needs, different projects, fundraising and, uh, and just help out wherever we can. Well, we have uh, a lot of activities. Uh, the car show in, in the summertime in uh, August is one of our main uh, fundraisers, but we have a bunch of little fundraisers all year long. We've uh, donated money to, uh, to different things like the arena, sports groups, and even the community centre you hear and see here in the background. Well, this is our 38th annual Easter egg hunt, and uh, We've, we've changed parks a couple times, but this is the community center here, and this is a great place to have it. So this event's been going on for, for a long time, and we're kind of a, a permanent fixture in the community for this event. So Amelia, did you get lots of chocolate? What's your favorite part about Easter? Is it the chocolate? <laughs> Are you having fun here today? Yeah. So Mike, you're here with Reptile Kingdom, that's correct, right? Yes. Well, yeah, that would make sense with all these reptiles you have around you. Yes. I had a much bigger snake on me last year. Can you tell me a little bit about the creatures that you brought this year? Oh, I, I believe we brought the same one that we had last year that you might have held. Uh, we have Sid the python. He's our, our biggest one. Uh, he's a reticulated python, arguably the largest type of snake in the world. Uh, we, we're part of a rescue facility, and we, we actually take snakes like that in uh, quite often. Uh, we can't keep them all. We work with a lot of other reptile facilities and different animal zoos across uh, Ontario and even sometimes across Canada and, and in the United States too, uh, just to seek the, the best place for, for a lot of these animals. Uh, a lot of bylaws have changed in the last year or so and some of the people have, have these animals as exotic pets. Uh, we basically don't recommend anything too large as a pet as we've seen in the past that uh, they can be difficult to take care of and they can also be dangerous. Uh, well this one here you don't have to worry about at all. This is a, a common corn snake and uh, these guys come in every different color of the rainbow and they make wonderful pets. They don't require a lot of the same attention as uh, mammals and birds would so for a, a busy family uh, this could actually be the ideal pet. Snakes are cool, but I think nibbles is a little bit more my style. And Patricia, I understand this is your last time being involved with the event, so will Candace here be taking over for your position? Yes. Uh, as of uh, May 5th, Candace will be taking over as supervisor of the nursery school. So I'm very excited. Yeah. Hundreds of families came out to the community center this morning to enjoy the Easter egg hunt, as well as this giant bouncy castle over here. For more information on the Kinsman Club of Niagara or the Nursery School, you can visit their websites. In Niagara on the Lake, reporting for The Source, I'm Bianca Tamori. I like chocolate! <laughs>